Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. It is October the 9th, Sunday evening. In this reinforced padded envelope, I have the test prints that I reproduced just recently on my R2000 with Precision Colors inks. I also included the color patch prints for the production of a set of profiles for Epson Premium luster photo paper and that should be the beginning of many many more profiles that will come down the pike for this particular ink set at this point we have arrived at the end we will be sticking with the version 3 of the photo black ink and that should be a great option for r2000 p400 and even the earlier r1900 Okay, I wanted to also bring to your attention that a lot of people have been asking me uh, private questions through the messaging service of YouTube, and that's fine. I don't mind that at all, but often the information is very valuable and should be made public. So if you feel like you need to you know, reach me privately, I would suggest you just simply email me, Tooljo. 1949 at yahoo.com t o o l j o e 1949 at yahoo.com and we'll be uh, very glad to um, talk back and forth on email but i will suggest if you have a question about printing about techniques about tricks or whatever problems post them publicly people will really benefit from our discussion and if we can come up with a solution even better but i would suggest that you do it to a or comment on a video specific to that problem i post a lot of videos and i cover a lot of uh, different areas of the printing field and so if you don't mind please post something or ask something that is relevant to the video you just got done watching okay if it's not relevant go ahead and email me and that'll be that'll keep the video comment section pertinent to that particular video otherwise it just becomes really confusing and not only for poor me but for other people possibly all right now the subject of the video is the never ending never ending problem i print with a pro 100 and this is specifically to that printer there's so many of them out there and i get very good results using the printer driver to control color but when i try to print through photoshop lightroom q image or other image editing software and i allow it to control color through a downloaded icc profile that i've gotten for my third party paper i get magenta cast on my prints i don't get that cast when i print through my printer driver well folks it's not just one person many many people suffer from this problem guess what you're doing you're double profiling you're telling the application to control color through a custom icc profile but yet you're also allowing the driver to double control that color and that just is additive okay that just creates a problem usually manifests itself as a color cast we want to avoid that so make sure that you learn how to do that I have videos that show you how to do that on Canon, on Epson. So just remember, if you are printing on a Canon, you open up the driver, right click driver preferences or printer preferences. You will be presented by the main page. There you would choose photo printing, not standard photo printing. And then the paper type, Okay, if it's Canon paper, you should be able to specifically choose the correct paper. If it's a third party paper, they will tell you what to choose on your Canon printers or Epson printers. They will give you the correct suggestion and the quality setting. Then you choose your size and then you go on the little box that says color slash manual adjustment, I believe. Manual adjustment or intensity, something like that. And there you would then hit on matching and click none. 
And that's the way you turn off color management on a Canon printer. Okay, the Epsons are different. Each iteration of Epson models has a different way of doing it, but basically you're gonna turn off color management. You might have to choose the advanced tab on a printer driver or mode or color. And there you have to search through there to find the specific area where you will turn off color management. I wish they would do this automatically, but they do not. Max, on the other hand, will do it automatically for you. If you let the application control color, the driver turns itself off. It will no longer affect color management. So that's good on a Mac. <laughs> but on, on Windows, you are allowed to do things manually, so you better know where to do the turning off of color management. So to finalize this discussion, if you see a color cast, that does not appear when you're printing, letting the driver control color, okay? The same image, more than likely you're double profiling and you need to go back and examine what you have done on the printer driver and make sure that that area is turned off, nullified, canceled, all right? So that way, both entities are not trying to control color. Imagine two cooks, one cook prepares the ingredients, and then the second cook that gets those ingredients re-prepares them again. Of course, the results are not gonna be optimal. So that's what happens. Double profiling, no, 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 no. Single, either the image editing application or the driver. And in the image editing application, you have a choice that you can choose. Let the printer handle color or control color, or let the application handle or control color. Either one you choose, the other one cannot be interfering in the color management. And that's it. If you do that, you make sure that that is always controlled. You will not have these weird color cast problems where it occurs with one and not the other with the same image. And you are just going crazy trying to figure out what's going on. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm gonna do one on the computer to actually physically show you where these settings are located on every printer that I own and have installed at this moment. So that should make it extremely clear. But I just wanted to verbally tell you guys as this is a daily occurrence out there. It seems to happen just about every day and it seems that a lot of people are now beginning to get into or back into home photo printing. And that is a wonderful thing. And I'm glad I'm here to be able to answer some of these questions or try to help you guys. All right, so please subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.